What's going on everyone? Alex here and today we're going over what's in my golf bag. I put up on my story the other day that my new clubs came in and I got to play my first round with them and I asked you if you wanted me to just go ahead and tell you what the new clubs were or if you wanted me to go ahead and do a full video and you guys all voted for the full video. So here we are. Let's jump right into it. We're going to start first with the bag. Right now I'm using the Titleist Premium Stand Bag and I love this bag. It looks so good whether you're walking, pushing it on a cart, or riding on a golf cart with it. I get tons of compliments from people about how good this bag looks. Uh, back here is the Titleist Players 4 Plus Stand Bag and this is my bag I enjoy using for travel. Uh, it's been with me to the Dominican Republic, California, Texas, Ohio, all over Florida. And it's also the bag I like to use if it's gonna be really wet and rainy. And then back here behind me, I have most recently the Lynx Legends bag from Titleist. And this is the bag that I like to use if I'm going somewhere really nice and classy because that's what this bag is. It's classy, it's got tons of details, and just looks great. So that's the, the bag I like to use for those special occasions. Uh, with that, we'll jump into the clubs and what's in the bag. And we'll start at the bottom here first with the putter. Currently, I've got a leather golfer's journal head cover on here with a magnetic clasp, which I like for sticking on my clubs when I head to the green. Currently, I'm rolling the rock with the Scotty Cameron Phantom X 5.5 in a 35 inch. And I love this putter so much. Got fitted for it a couple years ago and I'm averaging around 30, 31 putts per round, which is pretty good for me. Um, could probably do a little bit better, but Bermuda greens are tough. So what can you say? Overall, love this putter. Probably won't change putters ever because I just, I love that putter so much. From there, we'll go to the wedges, and I carry three Vokey wedges. I've got a 58 degree in the D grind. I've got a 54 degree in the D grind, and then I've got a 50 degree in the F grind. I've always played Vokey wedges. These are the SM9s. Absolutely love these wedges. Although I've come to find that based on my swing, and the turf conditions here where I play, I'm not sure that I'm super satisfied with the D grind. I think that the K grind uh, is best suited for my swing and playing conditions. That's the grind that I played in my SM8s. So whenever I get new wedges, I'll probably go back to the K grind at least in the 58, if not the 54. Now, whole reason we're doing this video is because of the new irons that went in the bag that I got fitted for last month out at TPI in California. Had a wonderful experience there. I can't thank the staff out there enough for their hospitality and just wealth of knowledge. My fitter, Chris, he did a phenomenal job and got me super dialed. So what I got fitted for is the all new T-Series T100 irons. These look absolutely gorgeous. Uh, I'm playing the Dynamic Gold S300 shaft, and I love everything about this iron. It looks so good uh, at a dress. I love the top line, the feel, the sound, everything about this iron is just a huge improvement. I can tell a difference right away as soon as I was hitting this iron. Uh, that the, the newer technology that Titles has put into this club is doing work. Going from there, we'll go into my five hybrid, replacing my five iron. Now, at first I was a little disappointed about not having a five of iron, but my fitter, Chris, said I needed more height and more spin on the ball. I just, I don't hit the ball quite as high as he wanted to see. So we tried the five hybrid in the TSR2 and we got the numbers we were looking for. I've made my peace with the fact that I don't have a five iron because I can't argue with the numbers and the performance that I saw out of this club. Next, we go into this TSR2 18 degree, uh, basically like a seven wood in the Tenzi 
75 gram stiff flex. This is like my 205 club. Um, this is also a brand new one that I got fitted for last month at TPI. From there, we'll go into my three wood, which is the TSR2 15 degree in the Tenzi K black, 75 gram stiff flex. This is the club I pull when I absolutely need to find a fairway in a pressure moment. If I do need to like hit a reliable draw off the tee, I love this club and I'm good with hitting it off the turf. So uh, very good club for me. And last but not least, we've got the big dog driver. I'm playing the TSR3 nine degree driver in the hazardous black 60 gram shaft and this thing's an absolute rocket launcher i got fit for it last year right away coming from the ts3 to the tsr3 i gained nine miles an hour of ball speed so you can't argue with the numbers if you're looking for a faster longer driver look no further the tsr line will have you covered absolutely Love that driver. Here we've got the iRange sports stick. This is what I love to use on the range or on the course to film my swing, which I think is really important to be able to understand what you're doing sometimes to make adjustments. Um, or if you're you know, filming content, that's a really handy tool. Next, we'll talk about the most important thing in the bag, really, the one thing that finds the bottom of the cup, and that is the ball. I've got two different balls in here, actually. So last month when I was at TPI, my fitter, Chris, determined that the Pro V1X is actually the best ball for my game. Because I don't generate quite enough spin and I don't launch the ball quite as high, this was a good ball for me. Was playing the left dash, but now my gamer is the Pro V1X. However, the left dash, lower spinning ball, great for days like today where it's really windy, going into the winter season. Again, this ball is gonna be great. I also like this ball because I hit the ball a little bit further off the tee with driver because I can hit this a little bit lower, more penetrating ball flight, lower spin, so this ball does go further off the tee. Two different options for me. I uh, keep them both in the bag, just depending on conditions. I can play one or the other. All right, and the last thing that I'll show you is my glove. I've got two different options. My usual suspect is the Stay Soft glove from FootJoy. Very comfortable, very durable glove one that I've been wearing for a few years. And then in the summer months here in Florida, when it's very hot and very humid, I wear a rain glove from FootJoy because my hands sweat quite a bit and I just feel like I don't have as good of control over the club and I sweat through the gloves. So I can wear this glove for an entire season and it's like I just pulled it out of the package today. Honestly, I could probably wear this glove for an, another season. Huge pro tip. If you've got sweaty hands or you play somewhere that's uh, super humid and you just keep sweating through your gloves, or also a great option if you're hitting a bunch of balls on the range and you're sweating through your glove, this glove will last. And one other thing that I'll show you real quick and then we'll wrap it up just because I love this so much. This is my valuables pouch, Team Titles logo on one side. I love this because all of my ball markers and ball mark repair tools are in here. I know where they are, they're not gonna get lost, and I can easily just move this from bag to bag, whichever one I'm using, so really love that. Yeah, I think that's about it. That that about does it. So I uh, hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a DM and I'll try and answer your questions. And uh, I hope you all enjoyed that and I'll see you guys in the next one.